sees in the fight of her life for her late husband's fortune. A former nanny claims Anna Nicole made advances. And now, the guest girl's ex-bodyguard unleashes some serious allegations. Do I believe she was in love with me? She was obsessed. Today, exclusive phone messages from an angry Anna. Plus, claims of a forbidden affair, a secret pregnancy, and an X-rated video that could cost Anna Nicole a fortune. The marriage of Playboy pinup Anna Nicole Smith and 90-year-old oil tycoon J. Howard Marshall always raised eyebrows and the blood pressure of his family. Now Marshall's family is reportedly checking out some of the statements that may throw into question Smith's claim on her late husband's fortune. And those statements come from none other than her former bodyguard. Here's Rick Kirkham. Things haven't been so great for Anna Nicole Smith. Not only is she battling her late husband's family for part of his estimated $500 million fortune, but she's also been sued by her son's former nanny, who claims Anna Nicole sexually assaulted her. There's no truth to it. We will prove that there's no truth to it. If all this weren't enough, wait until you hear the claims now being made by Anna Nicole's former bodyguard, Pierre Dijon. Do I believe she was in love with me? She was obsessed. I mean, she was... Oh, man. Dijon, who says he still cares about his former employer, sat down with me and talked about an affair he claims he had with the Texan model. He also played me what he claims are phone messages from a livid Anna Nicole. I love Among the other shockers, Dijon claims that Anna Nicole was pregnant with his baby at the time of her marriage to J. Howard Marshall. It was my child. It was my child. Although Anna Nicole has denied she ever had an affair with Dijon, it's been reported that J. Howard Marshall's son Pierce is looking into Dijon's claims as possible ammunition against the former guest girl in their expected battle over the family fortune. 32-year-old Pierre Dijon, who reportedly is an ex-gang member who spent time in San Quentin prison, says he met Anna Nicole in September of 1993 when he spotted her in a Beverly Hills nightclub. I quickly made my way over to her and uh, whispered in her ear that... Uh she was born and raised uh, to be with a black man. Dijon says that later that night, Anna Nicole tracked him down and gave him her number. Three days later, he says he called her and agreed to go to her home. She was in one of her sexy get-ups, for the sake of a better word. She says, well, I want you to start working for me as my bodyguard. I says, well, sure. I said, that would be fine. The next day, Dijon says his work as a bodyguard began, and that, he claims, meant being on constant call. Call him back, Pierre. You know who this is. Call him back. My main objective was Anna Nicole Smith to take care of her and look after her. And I mean in every sense of the word, whether it's rubbing her feet, brushing her hair, giving her a bubble bath, getting her dressed, you name it, I did it. Dijon claims he and Anna Nicole Smith became lovers two months after they met at a New York City hotel. I went to take a shower, but she came into my bathroom, and I quickly put a towel over myself. She says, well, well what's the deal here? What's the matter? And you act like... Uh, you, you know, a girl never saw you before. Dijon says during their relationship, Anna Nicole was seeing 89-year-old J. Howard Marshall, who she had met back in 1988. Dijon says he went to Bali with the two of them and snapped this photo. As odd as this sounds, uh, Anna Nicole loved J. Howard Marshall a great, great deal. As far as the intimacy is concerned, may God rest his soul, there was not much he can do. Then, in the summer of 1994, Anna Nicole shocked the world and tied the knot with Marshall. Were you there? I carried him to the altar. Physically Literally. carried him? Literally carried him. Dijon claims that shortly after Anna Nicole said, I do, she was telling her wheelchair-bound husband that she wanted to have a baby. But Dijon says Marshall didn't know the half of it. 
Mr. Marshall didn't know at that point she was pregnant. Dijon claims that he got Anna Nicole pregnant, but he says she soon suffered a miscarriage after an accident. She fell into her pool in her backyard and boom, lost the baby. Anna Nicole denies the pregnancy and the miscarriage. Dijon also says he accompanied Anna Nicole on wild spending sprees, including that reported million-dollar run to jeweler Harry Winston's, the one that Jay Howard's son, Pierce, stopped the check on. She was furious, uh, you name it. I need the name and the address to Pierce's girlfriend. It is critical. I am going to stand up to his next week. She just went buck wild. On another occasion, Dijon claims that Anna Nicole called him in a rage after he refused to stay with her at her home. Dijon says in October of 94, he'd had enough of Anna Nicole's tirades and mood swings and decided to leave. He claims that was when reports came out that Anna Nicole fired Dijon after he assaulted her. Reports Dijon denies. I would never do anything to hurt her. It is Anna Nicole's alleged relationship with Dijon after her marriage that reportedly interests J. Howard Marshall's son, Pierce. During our interview, Dijon told me he had sex once with Anna Nicole after she she was married. It, it happened. It, it happened, you know. Although Anna Nicole has denied all of Dijon's claims, he says he has an X-rated video that proves that he and Anna Nicole were lovers. It makes Divine and Hugh Grant look like Barney. Dijon claims he has turned down offers for his alleged video. He says he will not show it to anyone because he doesn't want to hurt Anna Nicole. No matter what she says, she knows I took care of her better than anybody could or would. I was there for her. Now, we tried to talk to Pierce Marshall about the story. He told us he had no comment on Dijon's charges. What a fun couple. Mm-hmm. Beautiful story. And when we come back, their host would give them the shirts right off their backs if they could. But they can't. We'll visit the Little Leaguers who stayed at a nudist camp. Thanks for joining us and have a nice weekend.